Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy. From what I've heard, this was actually supposed to be the final game, or Final Fantasy, for Square at the time, but it was such a big hit that it uh, resurrected the company, so here we are today. Oh look, a nice little prophecy. Well, at least it was short. Basically, your job is to save the world. Now, you see that little response right at the bottom there? That's designed to tell, show how fast you want the battle messages to pop up for you. I like to set it at 6. It's not too fast, not too long either. You leave it at 1, and it's going to take forever to get through battles. So, let's start a new game and get going. But once you uh, get started, uh, first thing you got to do is uh, select your character classes for the game. Uh, once you do, it's permanent though, so there's no going back unless you start over again. You get an upgrade later on, but it not really much changes. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose four different classes to show some variety, even though it may not be the best party in the world. Um, I'll try to mention some good equipment and spells for the remaining classes that I'm not using. So, um, first, the obvious leader is going to be your tank, the fighter. Um, although you really don't want to get in the front row, and or, um, although you really don't get front and back rows in this game, the lead character receives 50% of all physical attacks. Uh, your second character gets 25%, and the last two on the bottom there get 12.5% each. Since the fighter always gets the best armor in the game, you always want him in the front row. Uh, he also has the best uh, HP in the game, so let's uh, start out with him. I'm going to name these guys after Final Fantasy characters from l later Final Fantasies, that is. Uh, well, Cyan's not really a knight, he's more of a samurai, but close enough. So anyway, for the remaining classes, here's how I look at it. You really can't take their class change into account when you pick a class for the beginning of the game. Uh, why is that? Because by the time you get there, you've already gone through all the hard dungeons in the game, like the Marsh Cave and the Ice Cave. So to say, pick the thief because he can learn black magic later on, really doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe in the remakes, when the thief is a lot better, but not in the original version. But by the time you get to the class change, it really won't matter what classes you have anyway. So you might as well pick the classes that make the early game part of the game easier. Now back to the classes. Uh, this version of the game really underpowers magic, especially for the white mage and the black mage there. Um, because the red mage can use magic just as effectively as them. Um, the intelligence stat is bugged in this version. It doesn't do anything. So, you know, as, as long as they can use the same spells, it does the same thing. Uh, unlike future versions of the game, again. Um, although, now, now in this one, you also only get a handful of spell charges with no items to recharge them while you're in a dungeon. Uh, really, the only way to recharge them is at an inn, which is usually where you're going to get to it, or with a house, which is really expensive to recharge your uh, spells. So really, mages are going to be stuck using their weak physical attacks most of the time anyway. So really, you want characters that have strong physical attack power. So you want to use the red mage who gets really good weapons, especially early in the game. So we're going to start with him. And uh, Black Belt also has some good physical attacks, so we're going to use him too. I'm going to keep him in the back row because he doesn't have very good armor right now. And also his HP is on par with the Red Mage. Uh, later on he'll really take off, but early on you want him in the back uh, last two uh, spots. Now if I were to continue on that trend, you'd think, okay, well, then we want to use the Thief, right? Well, here's the th way I look at it. His attack is really horrible. His, he doesn't have very much strength, and his weapon choices aren't very good either. They're only really slightly better than what the mages have available to them. So, really, I might as well take a mage, because, I mean, their physical attacks are sl only slightly weaker, and they can actually use magic every now and then. Um, the reason I think the white mage is a better choice is because the red mage can use every good black magic spell in the game, uh, except for maybe nuke, but I really don't care for that spell too much. And plus the white mage can learn some spells that the red mage can't in the white magic class, like um, like heal and harm and other sorts of spells. And Plus it's useful to have more healing than more black magic, so I'm going to take the white mage here. We got our classes set? Let's go! 
Let's find out what our mission is to save the world. Okay, well, I guess I gotta see the king. Let's see what she has to say. Eh, not much. Something happened to her sister. Yeah, all the guards say the same thing, so I'm not going to talk to all of them. And someone named Garland kidnapped his daughter, so we got to save her. How cliche. But then again, this was one of the first games to... Well, one of the first games in general, so I guess it kind of created the cliche, didn't it? And Garland took the princess to the temple in the northwest. All right, so we gotta go there, and re that's where we rescue the princess. We know what we gotta do, we know where to go. Awesome. Very straightforward. That's what I love about this game. No goofing around. No, figure out where you gotta go. Okay, so the queen locked herself inside. Well, it's not very well locked. Okay, her daughter's Princess Sarah, so we know her name now. Actually, I think the tra correct translation was the queen shut herself in her room, but, eh. And the people want me to save the princess. Great. And Garland used to be a knight. Okay, so we got our hands full here. And there's an invisible lady here. Uh, I guess uh, there's something with a sprite palette thing, something going on with that. I don't know. Some bad programming accidentally made her invisible. We're going to walk around back here, see what these old guys have to say. Maybe they have something useful to tell me. Okay. So, uh, they have a key for their treasury. I'm guessing those are the rooms down there. And the Prince of Elfland has it. All right. And as you can see, we can't go in there. So, we'll have to get the key later on to get in there. We'll have to remember to come back there. The other old guy says the same thing, and that other door is also locked. Okay, so let's go to the town, see if uh, they have anything else useful to say. That's Canaria. So whenever I say go back to Canaria, this is where you go. Okay, so she's a dancer. Great. And there's a port to the east, so I guess if I need a ship, which I'm guessing I will someday, that's where you gotta go. This is an item shop, you can get potions there, but we're not gonna get any for now. Save the princess. This is, uh, I think, a house of healing or something, uh, if, you're, if one of you guys gets killed, that's where you go. You gotta pay him to get your characters revived. You don't have items like Phoenix Downs to revive them, so it's a little tough. You really don't want your characters to die. No pressure, huh? Great. Yes, we know all about Lucan. He went to Crescent Lake. Great. And the people are all counting on me. Now the shop to the left there, that's the uh, black magic shop. Shop to the right is the white magic shop. It's pretty obvious there. We're going to get some magic soon. And they want me to revive some orbs as well. I'm guessing those are the four that I've got. So... Let's take a look. The upper left corner there, those are the orbs. They're pretty dark right now, so we're going to have to do something about that. Now, you have no weapons, you have no armor. But they still expect you to save the world anyway. So, uh, armor shops to the left, weapon shops to the right. I'm going to go over that in more detail in the next video, since I'm starting to run out of time here. So, uh, that's all for today. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a great day.